Hey everyone and welcome to this tutorial. In today's video I will show you how to transfer BNB, also known as Binance coin, from Qcoin to Metamask. So without further ado, let's get right into it. The first thing you'll need to do is to go over to Qcoin and log in. Once you're logged in, you need to go over to the top right and then go over to assets. Here you'll need to click on main account. Right now I don't have any cryptocurrencies available on Qcoin, but what you need to do then is to go over to BNB. And once you have found the coin, you can click on the withdrawal button. You will then be sent over to the withdrawal page of Qcoin. And over on this page, you will see that the first thing you need to fill in is the wallet address you want to transfer to. So to find this address, you need to go over to Metamask. If you're using Google, you can go over to the extension page and then click on Metamask. Now I recommend you click on those three buttons here and then click on expand view. Since by doing so, you will get Metamask in full screen and what you need to do then is to go over to the top right and make sure you have the smart chain selected. If you don't have Metamask connected to the Binance smart chain already, I recommend you watch this video I've made on how to do that. So once you have the smart chain selected on Metamask, you can go over to account and then click on the copy to clipboard button. You'll then see that your address has been copied and now you can go back over to Qcoin and paste your wallet address in. You'll now have to select the network. In this case, we're going with BEP20 also known as the Binance Smart Chain. You'll then see this notice and it basically says you have to use the Binance Smart Chain and that is what we're doing right now. So once you have filled in the wallet address and the network, you can now go ahead and fill in the amount of BNB you would like to transfer. Like I said, I don't have any BNB available on Qcoin right now, but you can fill in this amount manually or you can click on the max button to select all of the available holdings. For this example, I'll go with one BNB. So once you have filled in the wallet address, the network and the amount of BNB you would like to transfer, you can go ahead and click on confirm. If you have any two-factor authentication enabled, you will need to go through the security verification process, but it's quite easy since all you need to do is to fill in your two-factor authentication code. If you found this video helpful, let me know by leaving a like or subscribing to my channel for more tutorials about cryptocurrencies.